Once again, to Let's Play Rome Remastered with the Carthaginians. Yes, we come on the back of a great victory in Sicily. And we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, an afternoon of mixed fortunes, it seems, because I've just finished watching the old uh, football. England uh, beating Croatia 1-0, so very happy with that result. But uh, on the flip side, having watched the match, I went downstairs for a... A biscuit as a treat, my first chocolate bar of the week, a little small uh, chocolate biscuit, a Kit Kat, and a cup of coffee to celebrate. I know how to celebrate in style, you know. And uh, in the process of pouring my coffee, I ended up pouring the boiling water over my hand. So I'm sat here now, my right hand is actually killing me, burning, because I've scalded myself. So yeah, an afternoon of mixed fortunes, <laughs> but hey ho, we shall press onwards. after the dramatic music has decided to finish. Right, okay, so what do we do? Well, I think we're pretty much actually set uh, after the last session. I've done everything, well, pretty much everything uh, that I wanted to do. So we're getting back to Cordoba with Theopanus. He's getting some support. Spies are heading out. Tingi is getting its trader. Over here, Palmer, nothing much to do. For Bomulkar, he's coming west to Sirta to oversee the military recruitment of our uh, in infantry and cavalry here to merge together to form an, a, 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 fear, a fearful army I've never seen before. Uh, he's going down to Demedi, is our Hasdrubal, our, air in, uh, our faction heir, uh, our leader in waiting. He's going down there to search out this settlement down here and uh, over here is where it gets slightly more interesting. Oh, my hand really is hurting. <laughs> uh, first of all, Your humble my humble servant, where do I wish for you to go? I start meandering around towards the Dacians and the Thracians. I feel is probably best for you. Let's keep getting that. Let's keep getting that trade. Let's keep uh, selling our map information to the lands that are far away from us. Uh, keep turning that profit uh, down here. We are almost ready to drop off our merchant and our diplomat in Egypt to secure trade rights and trade with the merchant. So that's good. Okay, so that, this is this is the, this is the, this is where it gets interesting. You see, we have beat back uh, the the Scipii, but uh, should we rest on our laurels for too long, waiting for a full stack to be recruited between these two places? I feel like we will lose the impetus. We will lose the momentum. You know, they will have a lot of money. I'm guessing they will, because it's on hard and they get cheats. Uh, <laughs> where do I see that? Finance and family, factions, diplomatic standing, ranking, skippy eye. Uh, diplomatic standing, there you go. Yeah, boundless. Yeah, they've got a boundless treasury. Uh, therefore, they're going to be continuing to replenish their lost troops over the next few turns and we'll be back to square one again. So we need to kind of strike as quickly as possible whilst the iron is hot. See if we can take Masana as well. Take, you know, make a counter charge. So we're going to have to get troops together as quickly as we possibly can. So how do we do that? Well, we are recruiting in Serta. We are recruiting here, but there are a couple of other little things that we can do to support the war effort. Keep the troops coming. Of course, in the Libeum itself, we are trying to get ourselves a militia barracks so we can start pumping out some infantry from here and replenish the infantry that we've lost. But that's going to take three turns, which, you know, we're not going to do anything before three turns anyway. But down here, Lepsis Magna, we have... Uh, we have mercenaries. Now he's 71, Hanno knows that he's not got long left, and this is a fringe settlement, hardly important. Yes, the Numidians could be lurking, but uh, all focus on the Scipii right now. Things, you know, priorities and all that. 
So he's going to give up his uh, mercenaries and instead he's going to recruit some peasants to keep uh, initial public order. Uh, and then we're going to build uh, a barracks here so that we can um, get some town watch, a couple of units of town watch, a set of peasants, and that's going to be the garrison sorted at Lepsis Magna. But in the meantime, that frees these guys up to come together, to, to, to go to the front lines, and we'll just kind of cobble together as much as we can, uh, a force uh, as best we can. As best we can. We're going to come out with... Uh, uh, this chappy recruit some mercenaries from here. We're going to recruit some mercenaries from here as well. Once the Theodeclus gets back, uh, and and just pump as much as we possibly can onto the front lines as quickly as possible to see if we can get a counterattack done on the Scipii before they rebolster too heavily uh, here on on Sicily. So it's all hands to the pump, all hands on deck. So, to start things off here, we need uh, a set of transport boats to pick up the mercenaries here. We've got one set of town watch which will be fine. These two will also join the boats. So that'll be two units there, plus mercenaries. Three units, so that's five units. Plus mercenaries, because he can also recruit more mercenaries. Not so fussed about the Libyan mercenaries, really. Although they're not that expensive, are they? 1400. I'm just going to be careful with the expenditure side of it. We don't want to bankrupt ourselves is where we can help it. So, But there are some more units to, to, re to recruit from here when we're ready to, to send them off. We'll just probably take the horses, leave the slingers. Uh, also, we get across here, and more importantly across here, we're going to need eyes on the prize, aren't we? We're going to need eyes on the prize. So Diplomat, yes, also coming to, uh, to, join the, to, to join the forces here. So boats to ship them across. We've got the units, we'll have the mercenaries, and that means that we also are going to need a spy. And we can recruit a spy here, so let's uh, do that. So we've got a spy ready and waiting, a diplomat as well, and they can support our war effort with spying and maybe a bit of bribery, possibly. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Let's test the loyalty of those black-hearted Roman scumbags. Are they loyal to the cause, or can they be bought with gold? We shall soon see. Uh, right, okay, so anything, everything else is pretty much done. We're going to be taking the elephants back. We're going to be taking Theodeclus back to Carthage. He's helped his brother Theages out now. His work for the time being is done. So, let me just get my bearing. So, we're building everywhere that we need to build. We're recruiting everywhere that we need to recruit. So all that is left for us to do is end the turn and see what happens. So without further ado, let us press on. They usually do that when they're going to attack us, but they have nothing to attack us with. So, uh, uh, but Spain, on the other hand, do. So that this could be this could be a, an issue. Are they going to move their big army? If that army stays still, we'll be happy. Just stay still. Okay, west to east. You know it makes sense. My eyes are yours. Unseen, unheard. You see, that's right for the picking. Very tempting, isn't it? Very tempting indeed. Very tempting indeed. Okay, so Corduba's still building, so that's fine. He plops himself in there. I, great lord. And these guys will soon to be plopping themselves in there. Meanwhile, we will merge these, and this ship will go up to Palma to be uh, the eyes and ears. The likely invasion will come from the Julii, so we're going to put him around about there, keep an eye on the situation. If we need another ship down here, we can recruit at Tingi, so that's fine. And we have a Bisaltes coming of age. We'll check a Bisaltes out uh, in a little while. 
The Germanics and the Gauls are allied. And we have a new family member, how oh, very nice. Uh, and that is a concern, because as we quickly go to the, uh, the ranking screen and go to top five factions, we're part of the top five, we are the fourth uh, biggest faction overall, but if you look at uh, the top uh, is Gaul, and also the Germanics are like second. So the top two superpowers of the world at the moment are now allied. Quite a formidable alliance. If you ask me, the Gauls still have not crossed swords with the Gauls, however. So with, with the Gauls have not crossed up with the, with the, with the Julii. So that's a bit of an, an irk. If they turn their attention to the Julii, it'll just keep the Julii busy for us, which is what we really need. We can't have all the Roman factions singing off the same hymn sheet, can we? Right, this is a very cavalry heavy army, but as long as it stays there, that's the main thing. And we have a semi-decent garrison, soon to be better with uh, some further infantry that we'll be able to get when we get that building sorted. Okay, so everything down here is hunky-dory for now. Tingi uh, has got its peasants, it's got its Numidian mercenaries, uh, town watch, and then we'll disband these because they're just a drain on coffers. Uh, and that'll be Tingy pretty much sorted. It's self-sufficient. There's no governor in there, but it's not auto-managed at the minute. I don't know why this... I don't know how this auto-managed feature works, but it's uh, a little bit strange. We can just about afford a normal tax rate up here now. So uh, we'll, we'll start doing a bit of tax rate... Uh, a tax rate refresh, I think, is in order. High tax rate here... Still a 6.5% population growth with a high tax rate, we'll take that. So high taxes in Corduba. Uh, taxes there normal. Everything here is spiffing marvellously fine. Uh, in Seattle, My Onward. This chappy is about to arrive to oversee the recruitment of our, uh, our major force. <clears throat> but before we recruit this major force... We're going to save our cash because of the mercenaries we will be recruiting this turn. So we're just going to put a pause on the recruitment of this army and instead focus on immediate troops to ship across to the front lines to get this done as quickly as possible. The, uh, the, the recruitment of our full stack army is a bit of a medium termish plan. We need something a bit more urgent than that because as you can see already, the numbers are beginning to swell. So let's, let's uh, sort that out in a second. The last act of this part will be the capturing of the midi. We will need to ascertain where they have taken their troops. They seem to have removed themselves. They had more than this. What have they done? They've either disbanded because they need the money or they've moved their troops out somewhere. I have no idea what they're doing. Interesting. I mean, we're not that concerned about one set of Numidian javelin men, but still, uh, there are some uh, Numidian units that have just been removed from the settlement, which is rather bizarre. Uh, okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Right, so let's focus our efforts on a couple of little bits of uh, housekeeping on the front lines then. So here, as soon as we can recruit, as soon as we can retrain these, we're going to be in a much, much better place. Uh, elephants on the boats to, uh, for retraining. And uh, Theodeculus, thank you for your help. But now you can go back to Carthage. If we wanted to be really picky, we could actually just take these guys back with us and retrain these at the same time as the elephants and then just bring them back. But it would kind of leave this place rather lightly manned. Very dangerous thing to do. So I mean, we could get there and back in one turn, couldn't we? But then we just have to wait an extra turn to get these guys retrained anyway. So do you know what? We won't, we won't risk that. Get the ships in. And get these guys back in Carthage. You guys back in Carthage. Let's replenish. So we're retraining all these troops automatically? No, we're not. I always get this confused. I don't like this. I don't like how this looks. Not that, we're, not, we're not that bothered about retraining the ships, to be quite honest with you. So we'll leave the ships for now. Just, just focus on them guys. 
save a bit of coin because not only are we actually retraining the numbers but we do now have a blacksmith here so we're actually retraining the quality of the troops as well so that's uh, a double bonus really apologize my phone was just uh, starting to ring so i will be cutting this session a little bit on the shorter side it might be about 30 minutes long but uh, you know it shouldn't be a problem right okay so carthage we're going to be taking pe the people on the ships across to, to the front lines as quickly as possible as I said, but we do have time, we do have time to actually recruit one more set of men. And we will recruit the best spearmen that we can get, the best infantry that we can get. So infantry coming across. I should have taken the ground shield cav with me on the boat across because we can't retrain these here. And we won't be able to retrain these here either because we won't be having a, a stable so quickly. So I should have taken these with the elephants. A bit of a faux pas there, but never mind. So in that case then, because we do have a bit of a lack of cavalry, which is a little bit of a concern. Uh, okay. Well, we will cancel that and instead then we'll go with long shield cav instead. So we've got 92 round cav, we'll have some long shield cav and we'll just forget the speed infantry. We'll just have the infantry be recruited here, it's fine. Uh, so that's better. So retraining, long shield cav, elephants retraining and also maybe not this turn because we're not going to be ready to move just yet. But the next turn we'll recruit the mercenaries to take across as well. So the first set of mercenaries coming from Carthage. Meanwhile, here we have two sets of uh, infantry. We'll get another set of town watch here in Thapsus. We're going to put on the ships. Um, bear with me. Where's my diplomat? He's getting on there. So on the ships we have the diplomat. On these ships, we have you guys. You're going to then pop down to here because we're going to then put on the ships the uh, these guys. Get them ready as close as possible. Uh, okay, so just leaving him, leaving the leaving the head honcho of the faction with some peasants. But it's, 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 it's a self, it's a self, it's like a selfless thing. He's doing it because he knows it needs to happen. He's not bothered about his own welfare. He's 72. He's been through life. This is a sacrifice uh, for the good of the faction on the whole. So, uh, yeah, let's get these guys as close as possible. So, let's extra set there. I've actually also made a boob here because we're going to recruit the, uh, them as well. There you go. Let's not forget about them guys. There we go. So we've got four units ready to go on the boats together with these two and they shall ship across straight to Lilibaeum from here. Okay. He's recruiting under the town. Watch and that building there. Carthage is recruiting and retraining and that means we can have a quick look at Bisaltes who is the son, I'm assuming, of Theodeculus. Let's have a look. No, Bisaltes, where is he? He's the son of Hasdrubal. He's this, he's the, he could be the future faction heir, actually. He's the son of, of Hasdrubal. Interesting. Now, where can we stick him for the time being? Well, we can't stick him anywhere. We've got, everywhere has got a, uh, everywhere has got a governor, really, apart from like the far reaches. There's there. There's soon to be the Midi. I feel like sticking him in the middle of a barren <laughs> desert is a waste. So we'll keep him close to the front lines because that's another plan we could use. If we've got a bit of a low number of horses, we can actually use two generals in the army uh, and use both generals' bodyguard units to really sigh through those equities that the Romans like to use. All right, so that's good. Uh, okay, so I think I've done this in a very haphazard way. I, I like to do things in an ordered structure so that I don't forget things and I feel like I've, I've done things haphazardly. But uh, uh, there's a couple of things left for us to have a look at here. We've got 3,000 net turn. 
Uh, so we can build something. Carthage needs something building wise. Let's have a look. I noticed that Carthage didn't have Carthage didn't have roads. The most basic of amenities. <laughs> so we'll get roads in Carthage. Um, anything else that springs to mind? Palmer, no. Kingi, not really a urgent settlement for anything particular. Farming, we can really we can afford it just about. Yes, I've got, I've got two and a half grand to spare. You know what I mean? It's not as if we're uh, struggling for coin right now, which is a good thing, of course. Which is a good thing. Okay, so that's it. The plan is afoot. We are amassing the troops here on the front lines. It's going to happen. It's just going to take maybe about two turns, three turns tops. And when you add to this a potential, another, another general, that's one, two... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, that's a full stack army. These, with what we're just about to ship across, is a full stack army, actually, so, <laughs> oh yes, Romans, you really should not have opened up this great big can of worms, I have to say, and that's even without the impending uh, army that's been recruited behind the scenes. But anyway, our last uh, act, as I said, of the session, in fact. Yes, mighty lord. Moving ashore. Moving ashore indeed. So both of these guys move ashore. So that's who's this? This is the merchant. I don't know where he's going. He's confused. This is the merchant. Okay. We're actually going to go down here and to the incense and trade that. And with our diplomat, we're going to sell our map information and trade rights to the Egyptians, who are modest treasury, so they're not going to be able to splash the cash too much. But again, the usual thousand coin should be uh, a most generous proposal. Hopefully, doable. Indeed, it is. And uh, let's see how much we get from our merchant. We should get quite a bit because if you notice here, there's uh, three lots of incense to trade at 27 a pop. But that will increase because we've actually got trade rights with the faction that own this particular uh, resource. So I'm expecting a decent chunk of income from, from him uh, just from trading incense. And if it is a decent chunk, what we're going to do is we're going to recruit merchants at uh, Carthage and at Thapsus because it's only one merchant per city, to open up another trade route with other lucrative goods here in these Egyptian lands, such as these purple dyes at a value of 30, uh, with three lots available. And there's also some more incense over here. There's also some more dyes up there. These are more lucrative than gold. So a potential for some great merchanting down here in the realms of Egypt, hence why it's so important for us to get that to trade with them. In the meantime, we're going to go down here with our uh, diplomat to see if we can broker a peace or a protectorate now with the Numidians, because by the time he gets there, we will have reduced them to one last settlement, if they haven't captured this already, which I suspect they may have done. We can find out for certain if we look at the uh, ranking territorially ranking yeah look they've got three lands left there's one there's two I think this is still rebel which makes me kind of think that this is probably yeah look at that Sahara's new medium so they've got new media so uh, this is a Saharan land so we're gonna have to swing by down here with our faction leader instead of diverting him to Spain because we need to take that down before we broker the peace we want to reduce them to one land as far away from us as possible so uh, yeah slight update to the situation down here that uh, has just come to light not a problem right so 24 minutes in We've done our little bits of uh, manoeuvring to support our front lines. New family member uh, has been come of age, but now to the meat and bones of the session. And, well, I say that, but to be quite honest with you, 
It's gonna be it's gonna be that bloody straightforward to do this because it's like there's two people in it. I don't really envisage fighting it on the campaign map. It's a waste of time, to be honest with you. So uh, right, we're, we're we're done. I think we're done. So uh, let's, uh, I've just figured out. I just found out. Not figured out. But I looked up how to quick save it because I couldn't figure it out. And it's apparently it's Control S. Ah, excellent. There you go. Bit of quick save action. Okay, get a move on, son. Oh, have we been blockaded by the Brutii? You really don't want to do that. Oh, look who's coming. <laughs> this is perfect. I would much rather have them out of Masana than in it, because we can crush them on the battlefield, and then Masana will be empty and ripe for the picking. Especially with a full stack army. Okay. We have lost Akati, I'm assuming, is the wife of our leader? Yeah. Hanno's wife has kicked the bucket at 67, but he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he's drunk the elixir of life, people. He's drunk the elixir of life. Okay, none of that concerns us, really. Somebody's got a pet monkey. Our spy has gained a pet monkey. How, 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 how quaint. Right, okay. Well, look, we get another turn to wrap things up then. Let's not waste too much time. There's more exciting things to crack on with. What have we got? 3,200 to spend? That's fine. Aye, great lord. He's off up there. That's fine. Cordoba? We need to build something there. We'll sort that out um, between this session and the next one. Same with Tingi. That's building something. But we do have now what we need. So boot them out. And I'll sort the tax rates out as well off camera. Just get everything just nice and perfectly honed for what we need to achieve. So these two are doing perfectly fine. Serta, finally! Yeehaw! Uh, as somebody has named him. I didn't realise <laughs> it read that. Yeehaw! Uh, yes, Yeehaw is, uh, is arrived, ready to rock and roll and oversee the construction. And as a result of that, we can now put the tax rate up to high. Thank you very much, if you don't mind. Uh, let's keep that money coming in nicely. So we'll leave the midi for a second, and we'll just pop down here to see what's going on. Okay, just a bit, just a little bit of uh, slinger infantry, new javelinmen, the usual fare. So that's not too bad at all. So we'll, we'll set our sights on that in a second. Right then, so let's just see what's going on here. Why on earth do you think it's a good idea to do that? Sink! Oh, I thought we sunk him. We didn't sink him. He's just sailing off with his tail between his legs. Best place for you. I'd probably do the same to that, but we've got things to do. And there's another one here as well. Oh, the, the Romans are swarming round us like bees. Around a honeypot. They really do not know what they are doing, do they? <laughs> they have... We have been a very benevolent and peaceful ruler for the most part. Happy to extend trade and, 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 and positivity with our neighbours. They were the ones that have brought this upon themselves. So when our elephants crushed their men beneath their mighty weight, we will not be uh, sorry about it in the slightest. Right, so let's get this done. I, great Lord, set sail. So we have diplomat ready for espionage. We have gold, gold elephants. <laughs> oh dear, that's going to it's going to be very painful for 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 them, isn't it? If we use them correctly, of course. Uh, so let's have a look here. We don't want to. In fact, let's see what, what we can get here in relation to, uh, in terms of uh, mercenaries here. Not you. You. Ah, just Libyan mercs. Nothing, nothing major. 
So in that case, Bizaltes, you're going to get a Baptism of Fire. If you want to lead this faction in the future, you're going to have to show your cards early. Show your hand. Get on here, help out your uncle, and let's kick some Roman ass. So he's going with the elephants, with the long shield cav, back over here, knocking out a few Roman ships on the way, and they'll be ready to be dumped off. So that's another two. What about you, buddy? Anything here? More Libyan mercs. Hmm. It's rather disappointing, I must admit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. We can now retrain here, right? Oh no, next turn. Next turn. Retrain. Couple more units here. I mean, we are lacking uh, javelin men, aren't we? Skirmishers to soak up those Roman peeler, should we need them. You know what? Mighty General, forward. So just get, a, just get a couple. Mighty orders. Couple of meat shields. Yes, mighty lord. Orders. March. Right. So we got the elephants, the, the better cavalry. Got the meat shields coming across. Ready to sail. With Bizaltes and the elephants, of course. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We are supreme. Attack. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Where's my army? Oh, I've dumped him in straight away. I, for, a, for a horrific moment, I thought we'd lost the men. <sighs> At the sea somehow. But we haven't. We've got them. So we've got a got couple of generals, some cavalry there, some cavalry there, some elephants. The town watch we'll replace with the freshly recruited um, Iberian infantry when we can get it. We've got some meat shields and, of course, more importantly, we have another set of men coming forth post haste yes, two turns they will be ready. ready we will here whilst we're here Aye, we'll quickly retrain what we can ready and waiting so and another building needs to be done here say so, so yeah we're going to tidy up a lot of the housekeeping stuff now off camera between now and the next session uh, but yeah, I think I'm really happy with the progress that we are Draw. making. And let's have a quick look here. Acquiring goods. Acquiring goods. Let's have a look. So how much are you taking back? Sir. Trading grain and slaves, generating 339 denarii per turn. 339. That's one merchant, and he's only yes. so he's only three finance. If he keeps trading, he's going to get better, and that will only increase. So yeah, the plan now, my friends, is just that. We will be getting those merchants from Carthage, or merchant from Carthage, a merchant from Thapsu, sending them on boats across, and sticking them on some dyes here, potentially some dyes there, and if not, some more incense over here. If these lands are owned by Egypt, of course. If they're not, then we shall seek out trade agreements with the, whoever does own these lands. Because uh, that, that could be a potential, what, one to two thousand denarii per turn. Which is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, we're done. We are now properly done. We have the wheels in motion. Three units of Romans there. These guys here. I don't know what they're doing out of their little hovel, but it makes no difference. We've got literally the next turn when he arrives. Maybe take it. Maybe let me call it two, just to get extra prepared. We will have a cobbled together full stack army <laughs> ready to go on the counteroffensive, and it's going to be glorious. Oh yes, and they will be powerless to stop us. Hopefully. 
But the last act of the session oh, is this. Yes. Of course, I'm going to quick save it in case this goes horribly wrong. But uh, we do have an overwhelming advantage. So we shall auto resolve it. Uh, the AI decided to butcher my Balearic Slingers, which is rather disappointing. Victory is ours, mighty one! Settlement captured! And we are going to uh, occupy the lands because they're similar cultured people and we're not desperate for the cash. But there you go. The Midi is now ours. We will turn our attentions to Nepta in the next session and then hopefully will broker a peace treaty or a protectorate, whichever floats their boat. But yeah, slightly sort of shorter session, but uh, nonetheless, it's been a very, very fruitful one. So join me next time when who the fireworks will begin to fly as we now go on the offensive against the Skippy Eye. Until then, see you soon.